Hey guys, this is an extreme kitchen organized and deep clean and by the end of this video You are going to have step-by-step -step instructions on how you can go and organize your own kitchen Hopefully I can make organizing easy for you and then I can give you a place to start. So let's do this Hey friends, so today we're going to be doing some kitchen organization and you probably, maybe you're a little confused on where I'm at. This is obviously not my home. It is my parents' home. I've filmed a couple of cleaning videos in their home in the past couple of months, but my parents moved into, into this house in March and they have requested that I come in and help organize their home. So I am starting out in the kitchen. Um, this is going to be a two-part series kitchen organization. I wanted to break it up because since it's a brand new home, there was a lot of organization that had to be done and I didn't want to overwhelm myself. So this is part one that we're going to be doing today so a lot of kitchen organization in the next couple of weeks but i got started out by cleaning up their countertops and i also wanted to do their dishes my family meaning my husband and my kids were over the night before and i told my mom to leave the mess because i would clean it all up for them when i was over today um, my daughter emery even spilled milk on the floor so i was planning on mopping for them as well and i just wanted like i said to pick up the countertops do the dishes before all of the fun organization and in today's video, I'm going to be decluttering and organizing under their sink, the spice cabinet, and then their flour and sugar. And just wait till you guys see some of these transformations. My goal is that by the end of this video, you have so many ideas to go and organize your own kitchen. And you're going to just have so many ideas. You're going to run out and go and get ready to organize. And I'm going to bring you step by step. And hopefully I can make it easy and fun for you so you can organize your own kitchen. If you're wondering what I'm using to wipe down the countertops, it's just my DIY cleaner of one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap. Try it out. I promise you will love it. If you are just stumbling upon my channel or this video, or if you're new to my channel, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. I'm Jamie, obviously. I'm a wife to my high school sweetheart, Mike, and we have three young daughters. One of them is five, and then we have twins who are one, actually one and a half. And my goal is that I can create a community here on YouTube, um, a way that we can all support each other, help each other out. I am always here for you guys. If you message me on Instagram or here on YouTube, I will answer you back. I want to be here for you. I want to help you. I want to make your life a little bit easier. And ultimately, I want to motivate and help you get things done. Life is not easy. We all have our struggles and hurdles and I am here for you. So I would love to have you join my journey. I have a lot of fun fall videos coming up 
decorating, organization, and so much more. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell and join my journey. And I will also have a get to know me playlist linked in the description that you can check out when you're done watching this video. You can get to know me more on a personal level. So I wanted to tackle under the sink first because I feel like that was the messiest and luckily since they just moved in it's not like it was a total disaster under here but they just needed some some organizational systems put into place so my parents know where to find things. So I started out by pulling everything out. You kind of have to do that when you're organizing. Pull everything out so you can really deep clean and get a sense of what you have. Once everything was wiped down, I put all of the organizational systems that I had that I had bought in here to see how they would all fit. And I was hoping that they would all fit. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to go through and tell you where I got everything and all of that. So you can kind of see the final transformations of the before and the after. But I will tell you that step one with organizing does start out before you actually organize. So what I did about a week ago, so this would be step one, is I came over to my parents and I took a look at what, at the three areas that I was going to be organizing. Um, so for example, I came under the sink, I looked at what my mom had in here, you know, I kind of assessed what could be moved somewhere else, what could be thrown away, what did we want to keep? And then from there, I went online and looked at places like Dollar Tree, Amazon, Target, and I found organizational systems that would best suit this specific area and the stuff that my mom and dad wanted to keep under here. So for example, she or they have a lot of spray cleaners and I wanted to put all of those on the Lazy Susan so they could all fit in here. She can spin it around and see what she has. It just makes organizing the spray cleaners a little bit better and so when she's reaching for a certain cleaner she's not knocking the other ones over and then i put the clorox wipes because we know those are a hot commodity these days into a basket so they can easily be reached and i got that basket from target i use them all over my home they have them in different colors and then i got this three-tier organizer from target as well and this three-tier organizer is super important because my mom has a lot of sponges she likes to use magic erasers dishwash sponges all of that so i wanted an organizer where she could see all of the sponges and a, and the different kind of sponges all laid out and then a place to put all of her microfiber towels so she could easily grab them when she needs to clean the goal here is to keep all supplies easily visible so she can quickly grab something and at you know at the end of the night when she's cleaning or also so when she knows she's running low on supplies there's nothing worse than realizing you're out of a certain cleaner or whatever so i really like this organizer because it allows us to organize a variety of things put them all separated and we're fitting because it's vertical we're fitting more things into one small area under the sink so organization is key because my mom can clean more more efficiently all by making sure she's organized
and then a way to make her dish pods look a little bit nicer i got this plastic container from target i actually have one under my sink so they're pretty inexpensive and it's just an easy way and a little bit of a nicer way to store the dishwasher pods When I was done organizing under the sink before I moved on to the spice cover cabinet, which I was really excited to organize that cupboard specifically, I just wanted to quickly wipe down their kitchen sink since I was in that area. So to wipe down their sink, their specific sink, I use a mixture of vinegar and Dawn dish soap with a scrub daddy sponge. And then I go in and shine it with yes you're going to hear this right olive oil i saw this on a cleaning website one time so i'm not just making it up it is something legitimate it helps shine their sink when i'm done cleaning it and it's something that they always have on hand so it's what i do i want you close to me you give me what i need I got this little sponge holder from Amazon. It'll be linked down below, but I just thought it added a nice little touch to their kitchen. To the end. All right, so then it was time to organize their spice cabinet. So right now they have all of their spices just thrown in a basket in a cupboard, nowhere close to the oven or stove. But they have this cabinet right here by their stove that is designed for spices. They didn't even know that's what it was designed for, but it totally makes sense because it's right next to the stove and the oven. So you can easily grab a spice and use it when you're cooking. But even if they wanted to use their spices in this cabinet, the way they have their spices, they would be digging around for specific ones. They wouldn't know which spice to grab. So I wanted to change that for them and organize their spices so it would be a much more efficient way when they're going in and cooking and they need to find a specific spice. So I got started just by pulling all of their spices down and I went through them. Some of them had expired and some, um, you know, like I could get rid of and then I was gonna organize them into groups. Now waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all How could I know there was no second chances Like dominoes, my love got really scattered You couldn't keep the door shut And now the frostbite's creeping in And then when I went through all of the spices and I knew what we were keeping And I had them all grouped together, I pulled out the spice jars and labels that I had that I was going to organize. I love these jars so much. I got them from the Talented Kitchen. I will have her store link down below. There's an online store. You can also get them from Amazon. So super quick, easy, convenient. But I've actually ordered, I ordered these, I feel like it was in the winter for my own kitchen. And I just loved them so much that I wanted to get them for my parents' kitchen. So they're just nice. Um, they have different sets. You can get like different sizes. I think a four ounce, a four ounce spice jar, a six ounce spice jars. And they come with so many labels, like just so many labels that like I didn't even use half of them. Um, so pretty much any spice you have, anything, you're gonna be able to find it. So it just makes it look so much nicer. And when you see how it all turned out, you're gonna see it's just so much better. It looks nicer, but it's also a lot more practical and it's just gonna make cooking a lot easier for my parents when they need specific spices. So I was just going through and putting all of the spices into the jars. This is a little bit of a difficult part. I was using a funnel 
and sometimes the spices got like a little bit too big for the funnel and it just ended up being a mess i will tell you that when i did it did it at my house they ended up being a huge mess so it is what it is i tried my best tried not to waste too much but i just put all of those in the jars and then labeled them and i came across this one herbes de provence provence i don't know i'm probably butchering that i'm sorry and i'm like what is this spice i have no idea if you guys are new to my channel then i i'm gonna tell you i don't like to cook i am not like i am not a chef i don't like to cook i have the most basic spices ever like garlic powder chili powder like basics i have no idea what this is and i had to laugh because my mom actually had it and if i would have just seen that spice label i would have been like i have no i've never even heard of this but my mom had it so it must be something practical you got me So then I just place them all in this top part of the drawer and as you can see it's just so much more practical, so much easier for them and it takes up way less space than when they were all just shoved into those baskets. So I just put them all in there and then lined up the other spices like with the bigger jars that I didn't have jars for or just extra things. Um, and they can do so much with this drawer. I think they were definitely not utilizing it to its full potential. So I got these canisters from Walmart. Um, they're acrylic or plastic. Um, but I will tell you, they are, they come in a variety of sizes um, and they seal shut. Like you just go like pull that. And I feel like they're pretty good containers. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but these canisters, if you look online, I was looking online, I was like looking on Amazon and Target and so many other places and they are expensive they can get super super expensive even plastic ones or if you buy them a little bit more in bulk on amazon they just really get expensive so look into these i think they were around seven dollars and this one is 10 cups and then obviously they have different sizes they have smaller ones they even have bigger ones and i kind of like the look of them like I feel like they look really nice now I didn't notice this but I, when I but this one is broke so I'm gonna have to go take that back I just got it this morning so I don't know what happened there but I'll have to take that one back um, but I can put the flour and the sugar um, in these two and then I'll get another one at another time but if you need some inexpensive nice canisters I would definitely check out Walmart they also just had their flour and sugars in like ziploc bags so it was nice to be able to get these inexpensive canisters and i also think the top the white goes with the rest of their kitchen and then i label them So the Talented Kitchen also has these labels and they are beautiful. I love the font. I think that's my favorite. And here again, so many labels. I mean, anything you have in your kitchen, you're going to find a label there. And this was the smaller packet. They even have bigger packets of labels. So again, go check out the Talented Kitchen. This is not sponsored at all. I just, she has some ama amazing stuff if you need to organize in your kitchen. a kitchen is a big project and 
a way to kind of make it a little bit easier for myself, I decided to break it up. So when I came in and we identified the areas that really needed organized, um, the areas that we needed to declutter and organize, I broke them up. So, I mean, I just couldn't dedicate that much time to, to organizing all of these areas in one day. And it also made it less overwhelming for me if I broke it up and I could just kind of focus on, you know, like today I just focused more on three areas and getting the tools and the systems in place for those areas. And then next week I'll be coming back and then organizing a couple other areas. So if you guys like this, if it's fun, then make sure you stick around for part two and I'm gonna show you what areas I'll be focusing on when I come back. We have these big drawers right here that we're gonna be organizing so we have silverware i'm going to be moving some drawers around this is like a junk drawer that needs to be go gone through um this drawer and then this drawer right here so i'm going to be organizing those um they have some a cup cabinet right there that i'm going to be organizing so i think that's it i think i'm going to do focus on the junk drawer because that always is a mess and then the silverware drawer, and then these big these big drawers, um, and then the cups up there. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next week, and that's gonna be a really good one because not only is it gonna have organization in it and cleaning, but because it's the fall time, I'm gonna be helping my mom decorate her front porch. So we're gonna be decorating for fall, and I'm gonna do some deep cleaning out there as well, use my power washer. So that one is gonna be like a jam-packed video full of organization, cleaning, decorating, deep cleaning, all of it. So make sure you are subscribed, make sure you have the notifications on because that one's gonna be a good one. You told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. Got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. And then when I was done with the organization, I wanted to do some more deep cleaning in their kitchen while I was there. Since I was kind of focusing on the island area, I just went in with the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and wiped down their, uh, the outside of the cabinets. And as I was doing this, I was also, you know, throwing things away throughout the day and I had noticed that the inside of their garbage can needed to be wiped out. So I figured while I was at it, I would go ahead and do that as well. Having a built-in garbage like this is nice. We have one in our home as well, but they also get pretty gross and pretty dirty. So it's important to go in there and vacuum and wipe it down from time to time. So I try to get into all of those areas like honestly if you have one of these like built-in garbage cans it's like how often are you really cleaning like inside there um because like stuff always gets shoved back there I know at least for us garbage gets shoved back there that falls out of the actual garbage can and it's like we just don't think about doing that as often and I try to do and I try to do that that type of stuff when I come over and clean my parents' house because them just being, you know, not as agile as me, no offense mom and dad, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just easier for me to get in there and get into those hard to reach areas than I know it is for them. So when I'm here, I'm trying to think about those areas that they're probably not cleaning on a regular basis. So the garbage is one, um, top of the cabinets is the other one and a few other areas. So that's what I try to keep in mind when I'm here cleaning for them. So I'll be there if you reach out to me. Reach out to me. 
And then once I was done with all of that, I wanted to finish out and vacuum and mop. I always like to kind of do that at the end of my cleaning sessions. But like I told you, Emery, one of my one-year-old twins, spilled milk on their floor the night before. She actually had taken Avery's cup of milk. And even though Avery wasn't drinking out of like a sippy cup, it was a kid's cup, but it wasn't like a sippy cup. It was for older kids. It just spilled literally all over her, like all over her clothes, all over the floor. So, I mean, we obviously cleaned it up off of the floor, but it was still going to be sticky. And I said, don't worry, I'll do it. I'll mop tomorrow. So I was using their vacuum, which is the same one that I use, the Dyson V7 Animal. And then I was going to be using the O Cedar Spin Mop to mop their floors. And make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you the dramatic before and afters at the end of this video. We're almost there. If you're wondering what I use inside of the mop, I use the Bona laminate cleaner. My house, I use the, a lot of times, I use the Bona hardwood floor cleaner because I have hardwood floors, but their flooring is actually laminate, so I use the Bona laminate cleaner. Here when I'm done mopping, I'm going to show you the before and the after of the areas that I organized today, but make sure you're subscribed because next week we're going to have part two of this kitchen organization. Okay, so I will have everything linked down below that I used, um, but I really am loving this. Um, I think it'll be great for my mom. So I just put their, her microfiber cloths here. These are sponges. I think these are like scrub daddy sponges and then magic erasers. And then these are just cleaning tools, which I know she has more in a different cabinet um, or a closet that now she can put right in here cleaning toothbrush and stuff like that. Then we have Clorox wipes, disinfecting wipes. Um, this little canister um, I got from Target. I also got this from Target as well. I use these all over my home. I love these baskets. Um, this from Target, just an easier, nicer way to put their dishwashing tabs. And then the Lazy Susan. And I think that looks really nice. And when she's like, when she needs a specific cleaner or spray, she can just do that. It's all right there. They're not falling all over each other and all of her cleaning supplies that she needs for the kitchen all right here. So I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so I ended up putting their spices here. These are like the spices that they use more frequently. And then like the secondary spices, extras. I have a lot of chili powder. So I um, line those up over here. And then secondary spices over here, like 
extras and stuff like that. And then I thought this was actually a good place for all of their crystal light packets. They kind of like line up really nice right there. And then just some extra stuff down here. So this was not being utilized at all last time. Now it's fully utilized and it's right next to their stove top and oven. So when they need to, they need a spice, it's right there. Also able to, um, I know I think my mom said she's gonna get rid of that type of stuff, um, but pretty much I know that once they go through that, this is going to be a free cover that they can use for food or anything else that they need to. This is the front porch. I'm gonna take a little break out here. I was just sitting there. This is the front porch that I, hopefully, if my mom gets what she wants, we're gonna decorate it next time. So again, that video is gonna be jam-packed full of a ton of motivation, cleaning, kitchen organization, and then some front porch fall decorating as well so make sure you guys stick around for that um stick around for part two a lot more organization but i'm gonna relax out here it's super peaceful they live next door to um some fields so i'm just gonna relax a little bit before i head home to my baby girls thank you so much for sticking around um and i guess i'll see you for part two next week bye